Hello Aquarius, welcome to your February 2020 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's take a look firstly at the uh, court cards. I'm going to get one of these to signify your energy for the month of February. We have the Knight of Swords. Of course this energy can be you, it can be vice versa, someone that you're dealing with. Or if you're cross-watching, this may be an Aquarian that you're dealing with. I also want to pull one from the Major Arcana. This will be the focus for the month. The Moon card. Hidden things. So what is being hidden? What may be revealed? We'll have a look. Aquarius, this could be you with uh, these secrets, trying to keep things hidden, but it could be someone around you as well. I've already meditated on the energy. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Eight of Cups. So there is movement here, wanting to move. There is a feeling that I'm getting around this of sadness i get regret a little bit of resentment as well that i'm picking up around this and somebody wanting to uh, to explore perhaps to uh, to look at some options here so let's take a look aquarius i'll cut these cards and uh, let's pull down the cards and we'll look at the seven of pentacles first we also have the King of Pentacles in the reverse. Again, Aquarius could be someone that you're dealing with, could be Earth energy. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, so very strong Earth energy. Aquarius, we also have the King of Wands here, fire energy, Three of Swords, Ten of Swords. Mm. This won't be for everyone, of course, Three of Cups in reverse. Your energy is the Queen of Swords in the upright. Three of Wands in reverse. Okay. Mm -hmm. Difficult energy around this one, Aquarius. Can't lie to you. Again, could not be, could, may not be you. So uh, if you're not dealing with a breaker, uh, this is not your reading. This could be someone around you, an Aquarian that you know. But yes, uh, very, very strong breakup energy around this whole reading. Let's take a look at the focus for Aquarius, please, for the month. I'm obviously trying to reach out to an Aquarian here or an air sign who's dealing with the earth and fire energy. Let's take a look at the focus for Aquarius for the month of February, please. We have teacher, but uh, teacher's coming up in the reverse. I also want to pull one from the uh, Queen of the Moon Oracle for the overall energy to get some more guidance for Aquarius. The energy for Aquarius is balance. Okay, let's take a look at this. Firstly, I want to have a look at teacher. Uh, coming up in the reversal here. So let's take a look at that. The card reversed some kind of difficulty here being out of balance, unsure, uninspired. Perhaps an important issue needs to be resolved. You may not be able to figure out how to approach a path here. You may feel confused about a situation or relationship, but the card is telling you it's time to, to be calm and to reevaluate what's going on, to keep that balance. There may, of course, be someone around you who can provide you with some guidance in this matter. In fact, you may be the one who be, is giving advice here. The energy around this is going within and investigating what would be the most honouring solution. So open up to your guides, teachers, friends, potential mentors, both in the personal and spirit world. The guidance that you receive could be exactly what you need in order to shift the situation and get your life back in balance. So opening up to guidance and inspiration, knowledge, needing to find out uh, information and remain balanced as a result of that. When we talk about balance and, and remaining grounded for you, Aquarius, especially in a time of difficulty, extremes, Extremes of anything are rarely healthy or, use, or useful. 
So there may be some kind of extreme overreaction. There may be an energy around this of grounding yourself and allowing yourself uh, the strength to rise, to be aware of where there is any kind of imbalance in your life. Flow and balance. There is a kind of that waxing and waning energy, the phases of the moon. To find that perfect balance within, a very feminine kind of energy, a very, uh, very strong high priestess or hierophant energy that I'm getting around this, but I'm feeling it more lunar, to be honest. Think on this, if we try to stand on one leg and balance ourselves, we may be finding ourselves that no matter how good at balancing on one leg we may be, it's a kind of dance, you know, that constant readjustment. The large and small muscles in our legs adjust to keep us upright, always moving, never still. The rest of our body is also performing that rebalancing, those little adjustments as well, a little to the right, a little to the center. So the point is that balance is a process, something we can actively seek if we are wise. So needing to make constant adjustments along the way. We need to know, of course, where there is imbalance first before we can uh, return to a time of balance. So where does this imbalance lie? Well, in this case, I feel like it's not knowing all of the information or, or something that's been has been hidden from you right in the center. We have the Three of Swords. So there is an ending here. When do we learn the most, though? Well, it's going through difficult times, and of course, while you're in the thick of it, it's hard to think of it that way, but I do think that there's someone around you. I get uh, strong earth energy, actually. We've got the knight and the king of pentacles, both showing up in the reverse. So Aquarius, it seems like uh, someone who's normally quite balanced, there is imbalance. Normally this person is someone who is... Uh, reliable, trustworthy, loyal, but they're showing up as the opposite of that. And this is throwing you for a loop. This person is kind of showing their fiery side, the, the king of wands. So, but I get that this is energy that needs to come out. I do feel this energy around the other person of getting something off their chest, uh, something that has been long held within. It's bringing about pain though, it's bringing about a feeling of betrayal, of hurt, and an ending. Now, the Three of Cups in reverse, and you here as the Queen of Swords, I do feel that for a lot of you Aquarians, there is some kind of a third party or something here where you feel like you've been betrayed or hurt by this individual. There may be an essence around this person of overindulging. They may be seeing someone else or seeing a number of people. That's not for all of you Aquarians, of course. This is just for an Aquarian that I'm speaking to here. A small number of you who are going through a, a difficult time with a partner and needing to find that balance again because there is an extreme here. This person is acting in an extreme way. You're also acting in an extreme way. The thing is, I have you here as the Queen of Swords. So this is very strong judgment energy, very strong decision-making qualities. There's a real need to remain detached emotionally, detaching from that place where you feel the most imbalance. I feel it's emotions with the moon card here, how you feel. For you, it's about remaining in your place of power and strength, which is your intellect, your thought process, your ability to look at things constructively and make wise choices, decision-making. So not flying off and doing something here as an extreme reaction to somebody else's behavior, I feel. There's a need to hold back. I get an energy of holding back the fire here, holding back the energy. That's on your part though. The Seven of Pentacles. This is the energy around this other person. 
It's about the need to evaluate. Evaluate the behavior. Evaluate why this person may be acting this way. When I see a seven in tarot, I often feel that it, it's someone at a, a turning point in their life, something that needs to change in order for there to be a natural flow. You know, the universe doesn't want us to be stagnant or stay as we are. It wants us to constantly adjust, to rebalance. And I get the energy around this of this is something that's coming in here quite quickly, I feel. And it's throwing you for a loop emotionally. It's something that was hidden, but it's coming out into the open in a rather explosive way. But it's so you can evaluate this relationship, I feel. It's something that needs to change in order for there to be growth. And I also get a feeling here of change, of transformation as well things can't remain the same. Now, the thing that I also get around this, when I'm looking at all of these, uh, these threes here, I've got the three of swords and three of wands and the three of cups. The cups and the wands are in the reverse. So there is a lesson to be gained here. Of course, hard to hear when you're in the thick of a breakup. You don't want someone telling you, oh, there's a lesson to be gained from this. And I get it. I get it. You have to, I think that you're able to see it from that perspective a little bit more though because you're, a, you're an air sign and that you have that ability to detach yourself from how you feel or how you're reacting on an emotional basis and look at it from a perspective here of, okay, what do I need to take from this? What is it that I want out of this and how do I get there? How do I best achieve my goal? How do I react to this situation to best achieve my goal? That's how I feel that uh, you're critiquing this. It's almost like you're taking it, you're doing like a coach, like a play by play, critiquing this and seeing how do I get to the end game here? Yes, and these threes here tell me that there hasn't been something that has been stuck there has been a lack of uh, forward motion or momentum, a lack of change. And this is really just kind of throwing things where, where you thought there was stability. It's, it's kind of making things off kilter or, or if you think of it as a strong table or looking at this relationship as, as something that was strong and stable but soaring off one of the legs of the table and, and now it's three, now it doesn't balance. That's what I'm sensing around this. So a lack of stability and where there was a sense of tradition and structure, there isn't that. So let's pull some clarifiers and see what we will be talking about in the extended. For you, it seems like you're going through a, a, a difficult... Uh, ending uh, I do feel that you're wanting to maintain structure and stability in your life of course you're looking at uh, six, being successful at what you want out of this uh, there is some kind of breakup involving family uh, I do get there is some kind of earth energy around you it could be Hierophant energy could be Taurus energy Aquarius so let's see I'm going to start with that seven of Pentacles what is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aquarius? We have the Magician in Reverse. What is the Seven of Pentacles? The Page of Swords. And the King of Swords in the Reverse. What is the King of Pentacles in Reverse? The Empress. Three of Wands. What is this King of Pentacles in Reverse? And the Hermit in reverse. What about the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Chariot. We have the Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. 
Let's take a look at that King of Wands. Six of Wands. Someone's pretty much set on their path here. We also have the Six of Pentacles in the vase. And the Ace of Wands. They're very fired up. There's a lot of passion around this person. A lot of focus and, and determination to, uh, to get their way. I do feel that. The Three of Swords. The Ace of Cups. Two of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Cups in reverse. The Ten of Swords. Page of Wands. So there is communication of, of this ending. We've got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. It seems to come out of the blue. We also have the Temperance card. So there's that balance, trying to make, remain calm where there is chaos or chaotic movement around you. Let's take a look at that Three of Cups in reverse. What is this about for Aquarius? Okay, we've got the Hanged Man, the Six of Cups, and the King of Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Swords. Four of Wands. Yeah, it's remaining Ten of Cups. And the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I do feel very strongly here that this is you protecting what's yours a uh, very uh, dominant energy that i'm feeling around you and trying to protect your, your home and your family that's what i'm getting from spirit the three of wands in reverse what this what is this about the eight of wands seven of pentacles in reverse and the five of cups in reverse Let's see, what, what is this Knight of Swords? The King of Wands again. What is this Knight of Swords? Two of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Let's take a look at the Moon. What is the Moon about for Aquarius? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Feel that's your energy. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. What about this teacher in reverse? I feel that's that Earth energy again. The Moon. Yeah. And balance. What is this balance? The world. What is this balance? And the Eight of Pentacles. I'm going to get one more. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. So Aquarius, let's see where this goes in the extended. I do hope that you join me there if this is resonating. The link is below in the descriptions box. Dealing with a, a breakup, trying to uh, prevent it, I, I do feel that you, there is an energy here of wanting to uh, to hold on, to uh, to keep what uh, you feel is is uh, a, a stable family connection, and uh, remaining vigilant. I, I get a vigilance here preventing forward motion there is uh, something being hidden here i do think that there is an energy though of this coming out in some way and uh, there's a real need to, to look into this further so if you'd like to join me in the extended again the link is below in the descriptions box aquarius and that'll be about another 30 35 minute reading I'll be pulling out some oracle cards as well for guidance around this uh, towards the end of that reading. If you prefer a personal reading and uh, if you're going through this I, I wouldn't blame you a bit if you uh, need to look at your particular situation rather than a general reading. Uh, in fact I would probably advise you to do that uh, and the uh, my email address is gypsyinsights at gmail.com so please contact me for your own personal reading. Wishing you the best with this, you know, difficult reading, again, not for all Aquarians. This could be someone around you who's going through a difficult breakup. If you are cross-watching, an Aquarian may be acting this way towards you. Wishing you the best. Uh, please do take care of yourself and I'll see, speak to you in part two or I will speak to you again soon. Bye for now, Aquarius.